Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 26th, but we all know that the timing is fluid, right? Not every reading is for you, okay? Um, and the timing is fluid, so that means this could resonate today, tomorrow, next week, okay? If you're looking for a pick a card reading, go through the list of the daily vibes and just, you know, just scroll down and stop. Okay, I guarantee you, you will find the message that you're looking for. Anyhow, um, I think the private reading slots are all booked that I opened. Um, but I might open a few more for, you know, third week of April. They do book fast. So I think I tonight when I get a moment, I will open some more. I do know that I have three more monthlies to do uh, for April. I'm trying. Okay, thank you for your patience. Uh, I'm running so fast that I left the house this morning, or the, I don't even know what time it was, with two different earrings on, completely different earrings on. So I will do the monthlies. Um, I'm trying, okay? There's, and I have a lot of uh, private readings to do as well. So in between my readings, you know, I have other things to do as well. So just bear with me. Um, anyhow, the, the rest of the monthlies are coming. What do we have for a message today? I suppose we'll take those. <sighs> Six of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles reversed, Five of Cups, Emperor reversed, Fool, and the Page of Swords. So there's a message that is coming. Okay, there is a message that is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. Okay, if it hasn't came already, it may have already come. But I, I wouldn't say it came a week ago. It would have came today or yesterday. Because people want to be in disillusionment and say, Oh, that was my ex from six months ago that gave me that message. No. Okay. This is a message that you don't want to hear that is happening right now. Okay? It's either yesterday, today, tomorrow, next week. Okay? It's not a previous, you know, a six months ago kind of deal. Okay? Okay, so a message is coming, whether you just barely got the message or it's coming. This is a message that you don't want to hear. It's probably going to make you sad. Okay, five of cups is right behind it. Could have to do with a father figure or somebody that is in a position of authority. This is somebody that is corrupt. Okay, with the emperor in reverse. This is a corrupt individual, a corrupt leader. Um, could be a husband, could even be a wife. This is somebody that is angry, um, doesn't do the right thing for the people, um, is only looking out for number one. So I do believe that this message will have to do with this person. This person is very, very selfish, very hard-headed, very stubborn, inexperienced, is in a position of authority that they should not be in. This person should not be in the position that they are in. Now, the Six of Pentacles reverse is something being taken away. Somebody could be losing a job. I hate to say that, but the Emperor could be a boss. The Six of Pentacles reversed, is a, it could be a job. There could be some social welfare here as well. Um, this is about something being taken away. Something is being taken away. It was given. It's being taken away in some way. Or they're not. Or it's not going to be received. Maybe somebody thought they were going to get something. It's not going to be received. There is a fresh start here. If somebody has been struggling financially, 
you know, I have to be honest, things, it's interesting with the fool card. If you've been in a situation that doesn't pay you or doesn't give you what you deserve, it's time to start over. It's time to start from scratch. Whether it's a relationship or it is a job situation, there's an opportunity to start from scratch, to start a new journey. This is actually exciting. If you get cut free from something, whatever it is, however it applies to you, consider it an opportunity to step into new territory and begin have a new beginning. Endings lead to new beginnings, put it that way. There is a new beginning in the future. This is very, very exciting, okay? We have an individual that has abused their power. This is somebody that has abused someone's generosity. They have taken advantage of somebody. Uh, this person may be getting some bad news. They, they may be losing something now. This person has abused their power and they're gonna get some, they're about to get some bad news. Okay, um, whoever this person is, they have a very big ego. This is somebody, it's interesting with the Six of Wands reverse. It feels like this is a short lived win. This person may have won, they may have, they thought they have won. It is not a win. It is not a win with that Six of Wands reverse. It's not a victory. Okay, but they may have gotten a, a victory, um, you know, that for a minute. Okay, there's, 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 it's like there's false impressions here with that Nine of Cups next to the Six of Wands reverse and the Six of Pentacles reverse. Sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. It is taking a journey. It's about getting your life back on track. Sixes are also about materialism. We have somebody here that is extremely materialistic, focused on what society wants rather than what the people want or what their, what their family wants or something like that. This person is about to get a message that they don't want to hear, okay? Um, they're, gonna, they're losing something. They're losing something with that Six of Pentacles reversed. Um, there's been an injustice here. We have somebody that uh, is very smug, very cocky, um, with the Six of Wands reversed. That is a smoggy, uh, smoggy, smoggy. There's a new one for you. Uh, smug, cocky individual who likes to fight. This is somebody that is definitely inexperienced, um, all about public recognition as well. Somebody is doing something for public recognition and, and, and it's like it's, it's negative attention. They do something for yet negative attention. They're getting attention. They are getting attention, but it's not the right kind of attention with that six of wands reversed. This person's about to have a setback. This is this, whoever this person is, they are about to, and it may be a financial setback. It could be. Um, but that nine of cups, that is having it all. This person had it all at one time and they got too cocky. They did get too cocky. And now it feels like they're about to lose it all and they're going to be going in a new direction because the Fool card is leaving it all behind and taking a new journey, starting a new chapter. And it's freedom as well. So somebody is going to be uh, being let go from their position. They're going to be broken free. And it's because of their attitude. This person needs an attitude adjustment. Definitely. We have an individual here that is very corrupt, probably even engages in criminal activity. This is a person that is power hungry. There's some sort of investigation going on by the looks of things with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is, is very inquisitive. Okay, or it's an investigator. It could be a private investigator. I don't know. This is some. There's probably going to be some news of legalities for this person that has abused their power. This emperor reverse. There's probably going to be some news. It's not good news. I just have to be honest. This person is very smug and cocky because they had it all with that with that nine of cups. They did have it all. They were right in their glory because they thought they had won. They thought they had won. But the way that they won was the wrong way. 
and there's grieving here. And now, and I feel like this person didn't care. They didn't care who they hurt as long as they won this battle. I mean, what comes before the five, the six of wands, the five of wands. This is a strong competition. We have a we have a highly competitive individual that likes to fight, that likes to play games, that likes to compete, that is about to be. I feel like they're about to be freed from their responsibilities. Okay. Um, and this may even have to do with a, and I don't know, it could be a father and a child because this is a father and this is a child, but it doesn't have to be a father. It could be a mother. Um, it, it could also be a, a boss um, that is being let go from their responsibilities. They could be losing their position, losing their title by the looks of things. This person is extremely smug. Smocky. No, I suppose it's cocky. No, it's whatever it is. Anyhow, just being smart. I'm sorry. Um, five of Cups. That is grieving over a loss. Somebody is going to be experiencing a loss. They're going to be receiving news. I feel like, I don't feel like it's good news. It's definitely not good news. What is this Nine of Cups? Now, the Nine of Cups is typically wish fulfillment. Three of Pentacles reversed. No respect. So we, this person lacks respect for others, doesn't work well with others. There's no teamwork. There's no cooperation, a lack of communication. We have somebody here that may have engaged themselves in a third-party situation where they just can't work well with others or something like that. Three of Pentacles reverse is lack of teamwork, unwilling, unwilling to work together, unwilling to listen to any advice as well. The Emperor reversed. Um... We got somebody here that is no not can't doesn't work well with others. This person doesn't work well with others at all. Doesn't cooperate. Huh. Won't listen. Unwilling. Unwilling to listen. Huh. Is it prime time. I did, I did, uh, measure the other windows. So I did that today in my spare time. I measured the other windows. I will order those tonight. The other windows. Three of pentacles reversed. Lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, lack of respect for others. I mean, what more can I say? We have, there's going to, I think there's going to be a realignment. Seven of Wands. Ten of Coins reverse. I knew it. This is short-lived success. Somebody thought that they succeeded. They thought that, that they were going to have it all. They did. They did. This is an extreme competitor. It is. This person, it thrives on competition. And this is position. Seven of Wands is about a position. Somebody is losing their position to the competition. They're going to be relieved of their responsibilities. They could be losing money, losing job, losing money or losing a job to the competition. And it's because of their corruptness. It's because of their... their uh, Lack of care. Their lack of, of uh, I don't care who I hurt. All I care about is myself. It's almost like making money off of other people's pain. Anyhow, 
This is a collapse of an empire. It's a financial disaster. It's, it's a huge loss. It's losing it all. There's false impressions here. There's illegal dealings that are going to come to light. It could, it could start from a family feud or a family quarrel or a business fight, you know. We have an unstable business or family life or a corrupt leader that is, a, I feel like this corrupt leader is about to go down. They're probably, there definitely could be a fight. This is a fight. This is family at home or in the business or a battle or an attack. The seven of wands can be an attack, under attack. So yeah, I feel as though uh, somebody is going to be losing their position. They may have had it all for a minute. They may have thought they, have, they had won. They may have been very smug and cocky. And, you know, this, per this smug, cocky individual who uh, abused their power is about to lose it. Okay? They are about to lose their power. They are about to lose it all to the competition. It's freedom with that fool card. It is freedom. Somebody also made a foolish mistake. It's almost like they tried to fool people. Because there's false impressions and a fool is a fool. Somebody tried to fool somebody. And there's theft here as well. With the six of pentacles reversed. We have a thief. feel like we have bad business here and this bad business whatever it is is about to become under attack whatever it means there's a, like some sort of attack it's almost like what I wanted to say was I see what you did I see because I was looking at that eye I see what you did. There's an injustice here with the six of pentacles reversed. That's an injustice. And it's interesting because this is my second daily vibe for today. And the first card out and the last one. And I guess I'll share that one too. So was justice reversed. And I said something about bad karma. Maybe I'll share it. Maybe I won't. I swore in it, so I wasn't going to share it. Anyhow, um, there is some bad karma, and I do believe that there's an outcome that is not going to go in somebody's favor. Somebody has definitely broken the law, whether it's the, the universal law or the worldly law, and they are about to go down, okay? It's coming. There could be an attack. Okay, and I don't, I don't know why I want to keep saying that, but that seven of wands, when I keep looking at it, I just want to say there could be an attack, under attack. There's going to be a challenge. I mean, that's stiff competition and opposition. There's going to be a fight of some sort. And a relocation. You know, it's digging up. Time to go someplace else. There is going to be a relocation. Somebody's relocating. And there's going to be a swift change. And there could be a sudden arrival, which leads to a sudden departure. We talk about this a lot. There is some sort of... Somebody has broken the law. And plans are being put in action. Fast-paced energy. Things are going to happen fast. We're dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We're dealing with anybody, okay? But that Seven of Pentacles is, you know, somebody invested in something. I remember. I, did, I don't know if I said it. I was thinking it. Short-lived success. We have somebody here that had it all for a minute. 
Time's up. Get ready for a fight. Good luck.